Oh. Hey, I finally found the right looter for the job. This is what happens when you put a woodsman in the water. Holy smokes, we found Sam Squanch. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Good bass, dude. That's a huge bass. Absolute pig. It is a pig. Oh, oh my God. Look at that pig. <laughs> that. That is an absolute mess of, <laughs> that's a mess of fish. <laughs> Woo. With just 10 items, it's not bad. We did pretty good, I'm impressed. Well, I'm super excited. I'm glad you guys could join me on the second episode of the 10 item three day survival challenge. This is a good one. But first I wanna introduce and thank my sponsor, Hunting Clash. You can download absolutely for free for iOS and Android. This is a fun game. Free to play, just download and start hunting. Use the links down below in the description. Hunt all over the world with over 100 unique animals, elephants right to black bears, everything in between, all kinds of small game. This is the kind of game where it's gonna get you ready for hunting. It's gonna score you based on your shot placement. You get everything lined up properly and you make sure the vitals are in your sight. Line up those crosshairs, steady your breathing, and then squeeze the trigger. You can play around with all kinds of weapons from rifles to bows and play around with special gear, including sonar and super buff. Yeah, you can pull off some headshots, but the money is getting the bullet through the vitals. Challenge yourself to player versus player duels or enter the championship, which will add an element of competitiveness. Hunting Clash even hosts weekly events to help you discover and play new adventures. I don't know about you, but this game's making me excited for hunting season, which is right around the corner. Making some loud noises and eating some delicious meals. I wonder what an elephant tastes like. Maybe one day I'll get to hunt Africa in real life and get to taste an elephant or a zebra. Make sure you guys use those links down below in the description that helps me make more content for you. Plus, it's a really fun game. Now, let's find out if with just 10 items, we can survive. Oh. Good morning guys. Jeremy's got fire going already. It's nice, I can just watch him make his fire from here. It's a nice view. I was used to being inside, fully enclosed in a tent. I mean, I could see the whole lake from here. I was able to take my uh, bug jacket off and then kind of do this. Mostly covered because the bugs went away probably, uh, I don't know, four hours after when it started to cool off. There's still the occasional mosquito flying by. <sighs> and it rained a little bit too. Not too much. It's actually raining now a little bit. If you're just tuning in, this is episode two of our three day, 10 item survival challenge. So we're roughing it and their tarp. Got some more reveals on some of the other items I have to survive, but we're trying to collect as much food as we can. Yesterday was a really successful day and we're hoping to repeat it or make it better today. So we have some ideas. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish, but the fishing hasn't been great. We have some backup plans. Oh, I think the rain's supposed to dissipate a little bit. It's just sprinkling now. What we can make do with whatever whatever happens happens but i should get going because i only have so much daylight to work with so hope you guys stick around and find out what we get into i gotta get my pants on ah look at this view off this rock point absolutely amazing we have this whole lake to ourselves. It's overcast right now, but that's supposed to clear up, giving us 
better prospects for today. Be tough to do this out in the rain. And I'm always keeping an eye out for whatever foods we can eat. There, Jeremy's, uh, his setup's just over here on my, on my left shoulder. I hear, I heard a lot of noise last night and uh, I think it might have been the otters. There was uh, lots of splash. It could have been the beavers too. I didn't hear any beaver splashes, but I did hear quite a bit of activity just around where the canoe was. And I thought maybe it was the otters trying to steal the fish heads so that we couldn't use them for bait. Those fish heads are still here. So the otters didn't steal them, but I don't know what they were doing. They're making a lot of racket down here, though, that's for sure. There you go, Jerry's got it here. We made a collection of probably a couple, three pounds, four pounds of choke cherry in there. Yeah. <coughs> three quarters of a gallon. Yeah. You heat that up and mash it and have a sip of that. That'll get us going. You want a sip of this coffee? <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Not a coffee guy. How'd you sleep? All right? No. No? No. Really? Why? Too warm, too cold. Really? And then too many little noises. And then, I don't know, then it was in the morning. There's a lot of noises. Yeah. There's a lot of something going on over here with the water. There were big fish jumping oh. as I was going to bed. And early this morning, there was a few big jumps. Well, there you go. So, so I don't know if they were bass or pike, but they were fish of some size. This life straw isn't so bad for an item. It's light. Seems to work so far. I got sick, didn't get any gut rot from the mushrooms last night. So that's good. But I've had chanchos before and they were fine. I'm just working away at mashing down this uh, choke cherry solution we have going on here. It's basically just choke cherries and a bunch of choke cherry seeds. And we collected this yesterday and we didn't actually get to try it, but uh, just got a stick, a little beaver chewed stick here, nice and clean or clean-ish or as clean as you can find in the forest. And I'm just gonna mash these all down. Hopefully that makes a nice juice. And then uh, we can figure out what we wanna do with the pits. The pits will have quite a bit of uh, fats and uh, proteins in here. And if we boil this long enough, we should be able to get a lot of that protein and fats into the solution to enrich this kind of juicy sauce. There's no protein of any kind that we brought as far as our rations. We do have some fat with the butter. So that's part of one of the 10 items that we have. But the rest of it, the rest of it is up to us. I will list down below what uh, the 10 items are. So one of the uh, items is uh, Jeremy's pot, the cast iron pot, and one of the other ones is my billy can. And then we also have fishing tackle as the other one. And uh, this lake hasn't been producing as much as we had wanted. So we're gonna have to solve that problem today. I think we're gonna portage back one more lake and hopefully that makes a difference if we don't catch anything here this morning. Cause we do need to get some protein to keep on top of that to be able to repair all our muscles from all of the work that we're putting it through. Uh, you can't just survive on one thing. You gotta get everything. I'm just gonna go fishing off my doorstep for a couple minutes with the cyclops making choke cherry juice is a labor of love we really need a proper grinder wonder if you could just grind the snot out of this if it would just make a really rich energy drink full of sugars and proteins and fats smelling good This is gonna be cool enough to drink yet. The fire kind of died down a little bit. See if we have a little bit of an energy drink before we get going. Ooh it's like a sour energy drink.
uh, a seedy sour energy drink. I think it would help this, obviously some maple syrup and some lemon juice, and you'd basically have the makings of a, a jam. If you add some pectin, you would have jam. The question is what's, what's gonna happen to the seeds at the end of this? But I think we'll keep boiling it. That's a good experiment, I'm happy with that. Choke Jerry energy drink for the win. Rest of these rations in me, and then we're gonna get going. We got a lot of work to do. These rations won't last forever. But as one of my one items, I do appreciate having them. How'd you do? One perch, one sunfish. Back in the lake? Yep. Too small. Yeah. Well, um, sunfish, if you had 20 of them. 20 sunfish, yeah. <laughs> so much work to clean them, though. There's no limit on them. Nope. You can no limit. make yourself a fish soup. Scales and all. Yeah, mush them together. It's it's not, it allows you to drink, to consume it faster than you would ordinarily. Mm -hmm. Right, it's not, mm. imagine if you put some maple syrup in there and a little that's bit a of- a nice warm drink. A little bit of lime in there, then you have your jam. Yeah. That's what the, that's when you make the jam, right? So that yeah. would be doable. So even if you had some berries to put it, like some proper berries. Yeah, yeah, raspberries, raspberries or something. Blueberries. Yeah, I like that. That would cut the astringency or sourness, bitterness. Have some for lunch later. Yeah. Put that back on the fire and let it do its thing. All right, let's see what the lake's gonna give us today. I bored that saying from Bob Hansler. He'd show up, mm, let's see what the river's gonna give us today. Yeah. And that's and what he would say every day. And the answer was always catfish. <laughs> Why are we getting wet? I don't know, 12%. <laughs> 12 is not zero. Let's hide under this cedar tree here. Because after we get wet today, it looks like we're gonna stay wet with the overcast skies. Been uh, keeping an eye on shore because there's lots of these big sized bivalve clams, which uh, we figure there's an otter pretty actively feeding on them here. It's gotta be a... It's gotta be a bass, so it jumped. <laughs> That's a perch, I'd be surprised if it jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Can you eat that one? Sure. All right, in the net. So we're on the board. What's that, a, <laughs> a third of a pound? Yeah, maybe. We're not gonna be picky anymore though, it looks like. No. Whatever we catch, we keep. We cannot afford it. Well, the lake wants to give us one fish, it looks like. So we're gonna have to go ask another lake if it won't give us more fish. One five pounder, one six pounder, we'll be done with it. Here we go, supper and breakfast. Yep. Find another tree to camp out under. Look at that blue sky, why is that not over top of us? <laughs> we got the gray stuff. It's all a matter of whether you spook them out, right? Cause they're, There's one. there you go. Nice. Whether you spook them out of the spot or not, right? You want to hook this yourself? I mean, Ooh, unhook it. Oh, it's not a big guy. <laughs> oh, you just spit it right there. Yeah. Nuts. Well, hopefully there's more. No, we're trying to be nice and work with nature rather than try to fight it. So part of that is just trying to stay dry. Once you get wet, it just worse compounds everything. So this is the portage, but we're not gonna go just yet. Jeremy just ran up. I think he's looking for some mushrooms. He's a mushroom expert. So if we get into those, we can get a few calories from that. But we really wanna get the, the fish situation sorted out. That'll be our protein. Maybe we can put a salad together like we did yesterday. You guys can check out that video too. We made a really good salad. There's always some possibilities of finding things in the creek here. There's different kinds of animals like to live in the creek that won't live in the lake. Maybe some crayfish. Oh, there's the sun. There we go, just by being patient. I'll well, see what we end up with. We'll wait in the river here and maybe we'll save that for later. Kind of got an order we got in mind that we want to 
tick off the boxes so that we're healthy. It's all about finding all the right things. And we're doing that as naturally as possible. Well, we did our best there, so we're gonna pack up. We're gonna go to another lake. We gotta have better prospects. We cannot survive doing this. So the next one, I think it's about 100. 100 yards, 100 meters, another little bit of a walk. So it's not too bad, but it's definitely worth having better prospects over. We'll be fishing here and getting the same results. You gotta make a decision to try something different. Now, it's a little bit of a weird put in here. We're at the kind of the mouth, I guess, of the river lakes up that way so we got to scooch in and then get over the riffles here and get back fishing hopefully this lake goes with something to eat Yeah, it's warm. Yeah. yeah. Alright, you good? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, that was refreshing. Yeah, it's cooling the feet down a bit. Yeah, it's not cold at all, actually. No. It's interesting that this piece here is like super cobbly, right? Eh? Yeah. And none of the rest of it has been. that big whitefish run is every year. They come up this stretch river in the fall. Hey Sean? Yeah. Pike? I can't tell yet. No oh, bass! bass. Well then. First one for this lake, I think. Oh, he's gonna keep him down this time. When you're ready, lift up, but don't reel up, don't reel up too much. You need a little bit of play there. <laughs> you want... hey, oh, you were having a little reflex from Yo, uh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I remember. I'm not like a fish, I have a memory. Huh? <laughs> I thought maybe you had a memory like a fish and it was just 24 hours long. No, it's longer than that. I'm going to remember that for uh, ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was that same lure too. I know. No, it didn't hit me there. It hit me in the face. And then it stuck to your chest? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, shitty. M maybe, the, crummy. maybe the beard saved me. I don't know. <laughs> just the bulletproof beard? Yeah. You want it in the boat? Yeah. You well, wanna... beside, I guess. That's a, a pounder, but it's bigger than yesterday. So that's a, that's a good thing. I had a, had a follow, no. I think I did have a follow there. He swirled right in front of me here. There you go. Nice. Nice pike. That's a good size one. Yeah, we can eat that. I'll go right, right along the weed edge here. That'll be the trick. Here it is. Pull the fish out of the weeds. Oh, I got weeds out of weeds out of the fish. Oh, fish! Nice. A small one though, and I think I missed them. Yeah, I was in the weeds at the same time. The spinner's doing the trick today. You're gonna be in the lunch there. You're never, you're never getting him out of that. <laughs> you're gonna have to go to him. He's here. Oh, he's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? A little pike. <laughs> um, we don't need a hammer handle at this point, right? No, I would say throw a small pike back.
keeping the rod tip high so that I can right above the weeds and then try to get a fish to come out of the weeds to grab it. Now, I don't know if I have a I have a maps. I don't know if I have a my big nice pike spinner lure. I don't know where it went. I have spoons, but I think they'll be too heavy for here. Fish on. Oh, it's a decent one. Oh, it's a bass and he spit it. Oh. Nope, yeah, he did, he spit it. Darn it. <laughs> Couldn't keep him down. He wanted to come up. So I uh, slowed my retrieve down on that was the trick. I think I've been uh, a little too fast. Maybe even this entire time trying to get the more aggressive fish. So I'm going to slow things down a touch. <laughs> now we're going to try this guy. <laughs> I don't know what he does. What does he do? Oh, he just swims like a little fishy. <laughs> oh, I like that. Let's see if this works. Ha! <laughs> Minnow's jumping out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's a bad sign. Maybe it looks too predatory. Not to a big pike though. There we go, another bass. Boom. Boom. Is that all in the spinner still? Yeah. How big is your spinner? Uh, how big it's is just it? a little maps. It's a number four. Oh, I guess it's a bigger maps, but it's still a little smaller one. I got some that size too. Like not quite that size, smaller. Here? Trout, trout maps. Oh yeah. Might have to switch it. I don't, they don't like the big stuff. Well, you got the luck today. Yeah. <laughs> I've tried everything. Nothing works for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get the one fish that beats all your fish put together. Yeah, that'd be all right. Yeah. I'd like to see that. 10 pounder. How many did I miss today though? Um, a wheat? <laughs> well, I had a couple hookups. And one big smasher to make up for it. Oh, come on. A hit? Yeah. It's the hookup, but I had him right on the boat. <laughs> Wanna pass the net or scoop him? He's just a little guy, but actually he's not too bad. It's an eater, eh? Yeah, it might be a little. Just like he's on the, on the cusp there. Yeah, I that's a, that. yeah, that's a good eater. All day. Hey, I'm not skunked. Hey. hey, I finally found the right looter for the job. There we go. It's from the mystery tackle box, but I had nothing about, I, you said we we're gonna go pike and bass, so I got bigger stuff. Oh, okay. And that one's like small, medium oh, minnow. Yeah, yeah. Everything else I'm throwing is too big for here. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. I'll let you unhook them. Oh, <laughs> right. That's what you get for catching all the fish. You yeah. have, you have all the practice for unhooking. Well, you'll have to clean them all then. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, I better, we better, we better keep fishing then. How many more do I need to catch up? Uh, six. <laughs> we have seven now? Is that the seventh one? No, uh, but it's close. Yeah? Wow. This, this is the fifth one. Cool. Boom. Nice work. Uh... Man, that was hard to convince that fish to bite. He bit yeah. right at the boat. I took the lure out and I put it back in and he still grabbed it. Yeah. Gonna make Jeremy wait here till dark. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going until I catch one. I'd have uh, maybe 15 pounds of meat on the stringer by then, but we'd still be fishing. <laughs> oh, so you'd still ca keep catching them? Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, though I'd have a snooze. I think you just caught all the easy ones first. Mm. So that one means the most. <laughs> that was the hardest fish to catch. Yeah. Yeah, that's the benefit of fishing with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you're not just doing it slightly differently and it's slightly not working. Well, I'm not sure if that last clip worked or not, but I finally got the monkey off my back and caught a decent sized pike. Yep. Jerry's going to show them. Which is that the one I caught? Yep. That one there? Yep. So I'm not skunked anymore. Nope. And uh, whether or not you guys get to see that clip is up to uh, the digital gods at this point. <laughs> I can't review it, so I don't know. 
but uh, I was using this little finally get the right size for this lake and that's uh that's also from the mystery tackle box Jared's got like six so four. it was only four four that I kept seemed like more than that well I put a pike back and I put a uh, I lost two bass at the boat yeah yeah I missed some bites too but yeah. more than a few yeah we're not good fishermen today we're just <laughs> good enough good enough <laughs> well we're gonna eat we're also hungry, so we're not just fishing for fun, we're fishing for food while we're living off of wild stuff. So that's a completely different story. It's more, it's trickier. There's more pressure on you. It's kind of like, like tournament bass fishing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, tens of thousands of dollars at stake. <laughs> Except it's just your meal, <laughs> whatever. I don't think he got a net that guy, he's pretty small. Maybe we won't net him. There we go. We weren't gonna keep that guy anyway. He was a bit small for what we already have on the boat here. Yeah, we got, we got supper on the boat. So just for reference, you know how you didn't get hooked in the face there? Yeah, that's how you do it? <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay. That's yesterday where I got, uh, got a lure in the beard. <laughs> Jer only thought he hooked me in the chest, but it bounced off my, my beard, yeah. which is made of iron. <laughs> it's pro one of the reasons I have it. The other one is for uh, Solid copper. cold weather protection. There's a bite. There we go. Oh, I got him, but <laughs> well, I found the right size lure. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> yeah. How funny is that? That's the second time I've done that. Is it a little smally or a little rock bass? It's a small mouth. Yeah. Did I sell that hook set though, or what? Yeah. Look at that monster. It's about the right size and about the right action. Like if I can catch a fish like that, I can catch any fish in here. Might not catch the biggest fish in here though, but uh, we're fishing for food. So we're not looking for the biggest fish. We're kind of looking for the most fish. That was a weed. No, oh, maybe that was a hit. That's the outlet, or that's where we're going back to get home. Well, maybe I might have the other lake figured out now that I got my lure figured out. Oh, there we go, that was a hit. Or weeds, again. Yeah. <laughs> but not one on there. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> this is where that fish was jumping i think oh there is a there is fish falling there we go oh that's a good bass dude that's a huge bass massive bass this is a big bass and i don't think i hooked them too well it is a big giant oh holy this is a huge huge bass look at the bend on that rod jer yeah I got a glimpse of them down there. Oh, shit. You tangle them up with the other fish. I know, I can't here. do anything with him. My <laughs> line is too tight too. It's like, I gotta get the drag off a little bit. This is a absolute pig of a bass. Have you ever seen a bass peel line like that, Jer? Uh, oh. Not here before. Oh. Of them, eh? It is a pig, absolute Beauty. pig. Oh. Mm -hmm gonna bring up a lot of salad with that. I, I have no choice. Here he is, here, here he is. Oh. Nope, just give me a second. Yep. I'll call it, I'll call you when he's ready, okay? Uh, right now, go, 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 go. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is a massive bass. Yeah, man. Holy! <laughs> I think you got the lure figured out for this, this lake. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that pig! Yeah. That is an absolute okay. yeah, beast of a fish. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that is an absolute pig. <laughs> Anybody in the US is going to be like, you're freaking out over that. Yeah, yeah. But for here, here for this nice. little pond nice. is absolute pig. <laughs> Probably some of the pipe are scared of that guy. Uh oh, we gotta watch. We're going down the river here. Yeah. 
You got your pliers handy, Jerry? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> An absolute Match. pig. I got one in the mouth and one kind of in the gill plate. Oh my God. Am I running? Yep. We're flashing. Four minutes, 43 seconds. Nice. Look at this pig of a bass. <laughs> A, one. An absolute giant for here. What's that? Four pounds? Four pounds. Three. 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 That's a big eater. Show me, show me the stringer. I want to see you by see comparison. Yeah, I want to see all of them right now. That is a beast of a you fish. Had your heart set on outfishing me with one fish. <laughs> but uh, did I do it? No. No, not even, eh? No. So the question is, what are we gonna do with this fish? You wanna put him back? Wow. So I don't know, right? Do you like that? Let me see. What do you got on there? What do we got on well, there for we fish? Have supper. We have do we have lunch and supper? We have two pike and three bass. I think we're gonna eat them. Yeah. I think we're I think I'm gonna do it. I don't normally wouldn't normally do this, but because we're living off this stuff, yeah. I think we gotta take one big fish. Alright. We gotta do it. There we go. That's your That is an absolute pig of a fish. Yeah. <laughs> is he as big as the pike? Probably as heavy as the pike. Oh, look at that. No, maybe not. Dude, are we winning or what? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're winning. Hold that up. <laughs> oh my god, I can't do it. It's a good slab of fish. So there. much weight on there. Are you ready? Are you lifting again? Yeah, I can only hold them for a short period. <laughs> Dude. Come on. Was this the right move or what? To come back to this lake? Yeah. And it's just a little pond, but look at all those. <laughs> <laughs> that is a slab of fish. Look, that pike beats the bass. Uh, the bass beats the pike, I think, meat wise. Maybe. It's going to be better eating for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. That's so awesome. Oh, now we're drifting into the river. <laughs> yeah, we're going to end up down the rapids. Keep on our toes. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Now I can stop fishing. Yeah, now we can go and sleep all <laughs> yeah. We're ahead of our calories. <laughs> How many times I should I knot this up? Oh, just three should do it. How about five? <laughs> that food's not going anywhere. Oh man. Well, I'm glad I kept fishing. Never give up guys, never give up. Keep trying all the lures you have. It sounds kind of stupid to plug mystery tackle box and say I owe it all to them, but dude, I went through the whole box. And I went through my other boxes too. The two that I brought that I thought would be the right stuff ended up not being the right stuff. It ended up being one from a box before. Oh, don't, let, don't let me tip us. Okay. I don't know if it's oh. like a new ketchup bottle or like a really old glass. Oh, I thought you were fighting to keep us in the right place. That was an exercise. Did you guys see that mess of fish? We got <laughs> enough fish to feed everybody plus some. Whew. Wow, it all worked out and I'm glad I uh, finally found the right lure, just the right size. I can't mess around too long with the camera here. We're gonna go back to camp. Jeremy wants to go do some foraging. I might do some foraging on my own as well because we got the whole afternoon now. We have all of our protein taken care of. And so now we're gonna look for some I guess, uh, what do you call it? Roughage, some carbs and whatever else we can add to it. So Jer's got something in mind. You can go check out his channel. He'll cover that over there. You'll probably see what he comes back with. But if you want to learn things, you'll have to go check his channel out because he'll go over the ins and outs of how he forages. And you know, you guys know what he's going to be looking for mostly. It's going to be mushrooms where Jeremy is more of an expert. Anyway, we're going to shoot the rapids here. We're not going to walk back. We're going to try to make it all the way through. Um, might be a disaster or it might be uh, the right call. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm so pumped that I found what works. Man, did I work hard to try to cast everything in the mystery of tackle box that I could think of. And then finally, I went into my old uh, box, not my old box, but like I've got like 
after I unbox the mystery tackle box, I throw them in here and I found just the, the lure that was just the right size. The, the spoons were just too big for the fish that were here and they were scaring them away and they weren't committing to it. But that was only like six casts to catch basically three fish. Yeah. More or less. Like yeah, there's no, maybe a dozen, good. but. All right, I gotta get my hands on deck here because we're going through the first little rapids here. <laughs> don't, don't spill over. There's that absolute mess of fish. All within limits too, because uh, I think we're allowed five bass and five pike each, right? Five yeah. bass, five pike. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Try not to lose them on a rock. Oh, yeah. Well, they should be secure, but I don't think you're going anywhere in a bundle like that. Oh, we might. Pick them all up at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. So you're thinking we're gonna ride out the middle here? Yeah. And we're not gonna hit bottom, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna hit. We're gonna hit straight. As long as we don't uh, get wedged and flip, we'll be good. <laughs> but this will save us a lot of work in the, on the portage. Let's see if we hit bottom. A little bit of bottom. A little bit of turbulence. Oh, the, whole way. the whole way. Okay. Hello. That was the hardest part. I bet you there's a fish in here. Yeah. yeah. Bass. Well, yeah, it's a little shallow, I guess, eh? Oh, we can't go head on. We're going to hit this boulder first. So we gotta, we'll go slow. We gotta, we're gonna hit this one. If we oh, I see. Go straight. If we go slow enough, we won't get pushed backwards, which is what, <laughs> where you get into big trouble. Because there's a lot of power here. So just make sure we don't spin, Jer. Yeah. If you can help it. I don't know that we can get too much speed when we're scraping over so many rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna take us to the left of that little bulb rock. So I have uh, tipped the canoe too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. We went in head first into a boulder, got pinned sideways, and then oh, yeah. washed over. And we're gonna have to go to the right here, Jer. Yeah, because of that. Right here, right, and then left after. We're gonna get wedged a little bit, maybe. Oh, a little bumps. And then to the left here. And we should be good if we fit. If we fit, we might not fit. We're good. We're good. Okay, and then we're gonna go just to the right, I think, even though the left is a little bit better line. Oh. I didn't I didn't see that one. We're gonna have to back up and go left. You like, see where it is? Like barely under the water. And uh there got algae on it that we're kind of sliding. Okay, there we go. We made it, I think. Oh, probably could catch a fish right here. <laughs> you wanna catch another one? <laughs> Whew, we're back home. What a oh, that wasn't so bad. That was a lot of rubbing on rocks. <laughs> That's why there's a portage trail. Well, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a fancier canoe down there. Low water levels would be a problem. Well, there we go. We can get back, back to camp. With our spoils. This lake, there's nothing in it. Hmm. The other lake. <laughs> well, you can't say that until you try fishing with your newfound lure. Yeah, <laughs> true. Might just be the recipe for here. So rare to have a calm day like this, hardly any wind, but it is very peaceful out here. Maybe that's just because we did so well. <laughs> the The weight has been lifted off of us. <laughs> We're basking in the afterglow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's a uh, pretty hot day today, so we'd have to go for a swim. We'll see. We got lots of work still left to do with uh, processing all the fish and rounding out our meal so that it makes sense. Could you see a lot of fish too? Yeah, we've done that. <laughs> we have done that. <laughs> it's not the right way to go though. Not to be to be balanced to get all your nutrients. You need to get a variety of different kinds of foods.
All right. Well, here we are. That, that is an absolute mess of, <laughs> that's a mess of fish. <laughs> Woo. An absolute mess of fish. <laughs> Check that out. Look at that bass. The bass is bigger than all the pike put together, I swear. <laughs> We smoked it. Absolutely hit a home run here. <laughs> Look at this slab of a bass. <laughs> Crazy. We're going to have to get that fire going again. But before we do that, we're going to have a little bit more of our energy drink. I think we're owed it. And uh, it's cooled off now, so we can drink it a little bit easier. It'll be a little bit more thirst quenching. What does that look like? <laughs> It looks like a little bit of a smoothie. Put some ice cream in there and you'll be all set. It's actually really good. It's kind of like a sweet treat right now. And uh, as we work it down, I'm gonna keep mashing the sugars out and I will put it back on the heat once I get that fire started again. We'll just keep working working away at it, smooshing it down, and it's like a forever drink, the forever energy drink. Jeremy's actually gonna take a walk. I think he's gonna go up in the hills here. He thinks there'll be some prospect for some food. Hmm. That's really hitting the spot. That is a lot easier to drink that than it is to chew the choke cherries, that's for sure. Huh, and I put it out. Oh, it's going too much. <laughs> that works too well. There's a piece burning behind you too. Oh, is there? Look at that. <laughs> that worked too good. So that uh, fire striker ferro rod is part of my 10 items. And then I can give one of Jeremy's 10 items back. Thanks. Because I didn't have a good striker, so we're using this multi tool. But you'd know that if you're following from yesterday. So, good luck. Thanks. Have fun. Good luck. <laughs> have fun. Cleaning fish. Yeah, save one for me. <laughs> I'm the, pretty the little bass. Pretty sure it won't be a problem. There's lots to go around. Yeah. So you're going up there, in case I don't see you ever again? Yeah, up there and then that way probably. Okay. Uh, we'll see how far I get. So. All right, well, know. yell if I don't. You know, if you get hurt? Yeah, break a leg or something. <laughs> Make a smoke fire? Yep. I have nothing to start a fire. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks. I'll see you later. All right. All right. Uh, I just bled them out and uh, that's gonna make some nice white meat and uh, in survival at least we've gotten the habit of doing the scaling because that'll preserve a lot of calories in the skin that's where the fat is it's not really advisable that you keep the skin on if you're eating it for recreational purposes Jeremy actually 
did an experiment when they only ate wild food for a whole year and his heavy metals, mercury, went through the roof because he was doing this, this very thing. He's eating mountains and mountains of fish and fish skin and fish brains of all kinds, big fish, pike, catfish, and the brains and everything. And that's where the toxins tend to really concentrate. So it is something you want to keep in mind if you're going to eat off the land like this. And uh, it's not just from toxicity, like just from industry. It can occur because of industry, but a lot of the stuff here is naturally occurring and uh, just, it's just deposited in the lakes and then it stays in the food chain once it gets there. So it just kind of rotates around from small fish to big fish and then back in. Yeah, that's a nice, that's an absolute slab of meat. Love that. That's like a, I don't know, probably two pounds cleaned out. Give our choke cherries a mash again. Never hurts to break all those seeds down as we've been doing. Part of our rations is a stick of butter. So, so far we've used about a half a stick, I guess over one day isn't too too bad and uh, we've been using this liberally this is what wild foods are missing and then we can work the seasoning all the way in there that looks great It doesn't even fit in the pan. <laughs> we got a tail sticking out, but that's okay. You guys know where to find the spice. Wadobo spice goes good on everything. Even if you're not catching wild food, you can still use it on chicken or steak, popcorn. I've heard people use it on. It's funny, this fish doesn't even fit in the pan. We got the tail sticking out. That's how big it is. It's a, I think it's about a 10 inch, 12 inch pan or so. So with the head off the fish, still doesn't fit. I don't think I'm going to be eating the whole thing by myself, but by the time Jeremy gets back, I'm sure he'll add something to add to it and round the meal out. Or else it's going to be choke cherry juice fortified by a giant delicious bass. I guess we get a little bit of a break while we wait for that fish to cook. Not much of one because there's always something to do. You always be cutting wood or looking for more food but uh, I do need to take the time to keep hydrated I am falling behind I know that the best way to verify your hydration levels is your urine so if you haven't peed in a long time you're probably dehydrated especially especially if it's hot out and if when you pee it's really yellow you're probably dehydrated This is a bit of a chore to suck the water through this. I don't know if the filter's probably getting a little bit more clogged as they've been using it. So I don't know if this is gonna be the last time I use it or not, but it is difficult to get any water through it. Hot. Ooh, it's gonna be like eating in a fancy restaurant. You know, they bring it in the hot, steaming hot skillet. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's a blooper reel. <laughs> My table fell over. 
I had her all set up perfect. Oh, back in business. That's what happens when you get uh, really hungry. Things start to not quite work out the way you hoped they would. Maybe Jeremy will come back in the meantime. Whew. And you can have the other half. Is that Sasquatch will bang rocks together. <clears throat> I like to play a little game when people leave camp and go off into the bush. And the game is trying to hear the first sound you know for sure is that person coming back. It's really easy when people talk in the woods because it carries a long way and it's very distinct obviously. So with somebody walking through the woods it's usually a branch breaking and the easiest way to find somebody or an animal to be certain it's an animal is persistent sound from a given location. So if an animal is moving the sound will move. Have you seen the bearded woodsman? Never heard of him. Have you seen the wooded beardsman? <laughs> Never heard of him. Have you seen the shirtless beardsman? Oh, I'm trying to be him, I guess. Yeah. My imitation of him. Imposter. Were you were you banging uh, on the tree up there? No. It was Sasquatch then. Yeah. Did you hear some knocking? I was communicating with him. Oh. No. Thought maybe you were playing a joke, so I played it back. Oh. No. And then it escalated, or what? Uh, I kind of fizzled out. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the uh, Sasquatch believed me. So, uh, kind of was a stalemate, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't doing the call right. <laughs> it was boop, 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 boop. Oh. Okay, I'll do that back. Morse code. Yeah. Found some garbage. I think I, I just was off on a beat or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that's a haul. <laughs> yeah. I hit the jackpot. Mm hmm. You know what else I hit? Mm. I stepped on a hornet nest. Mmm. Oh yeah, I just got a baby sting, but one uh, nice. got me through the sock, got up my pant leg. Did I tell you about the time I pooped on the hornet <laughs> nest? <laughs> I don't think so. I got two on my bum. <laughs> that didn't feel good. I bet not. Mm -mm. Well, so there he goes. You guys want evidence of Sasquatch? I guess that's evidence of Sasquatch. We hear he knocks on trees and all those things. So there you go. Jeremy claims it wasn't him. Let's see if this is not too hot to drink. Oh, it is too hot to drink. Ouch. It's uh, getting caramelized in there. You probably can't really see it too, too well. But that would be the time to, like, sift it. We had an old shirt. You got an old shirt you don't want? This shirt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a shirt that I definitely want. Strain the berries. Oh. That would be sick. Sick as in good. Maybe I thought you guys, you can give me like one example of each and then if people want to learn more detail, they can visit your channel. Mm -hmm. um, chanterelle? Yes, but not the yellow chanterelle. Oh, it looks different. It's got a hole in the middle. So it's a different version of a chanterelle? Mm -hmm. This is the winter chanterelle or the yellowfoot chanterelle. I have no idea what that is. 
What's that one? Hedgehog mushroom. Real quick. Is this a blue uh, thing? It's the same as this one. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, it's another chanterelle. Okay. There so are some orange up. chanterelle, yellow chanterelles way down at the bottom. There's Trump, black. Trump, trumpet? Yeah. Trumpet mushroom or the black chanterelle. Black chanterelle. Yep. Okay. So you got two different kinds so far. Three. Three? Two chanterelles and a hedgehog. Mm. That's the same as this one. Then. Yeah. Okay. How many more am I looking for? Just the yellow chanterelles that are way at the bottom. Oh, They're the these first ones. ones that I picked, yeah. Yeah, those ones are... So that is slightly different. Yeah. Well, notice, like, it's got all... This one's got a hollow stem. It's hollow right through. Dude, this I'm not going to remember any of that. Stem. <laughs> well, maybe these folks. I'm not a mushroom guy. No. Do I have to go visit your channel to learn that? Yeah. I just want to know... That, so you only found four different kinds? Only four, yeah. Well, I found, like, 30 <laughs> different kinds, but four that I'm confident about eating. Okay. So the rest are all just more of the same yeah the bigger ones way more of the same i'm not confident at all in identifying mushrooms no. or confident in eating them mm. which affects my confidence and desire mm -hmm. to pick them to, to <laughs> yeah to identify them so we will see if uh thoroughly cooking them will make a difference mm -hmm. you didn't didn't pick up any lobster mushrooms no i didn't see any no those are, you usually find those in the fall. Those are easy to yeah. identify. I can They're identify those right all the time. They're like my least favorite. Yeah, and I think the chanterelles I could probably ID. Because there's not nothing really similar to these ones. They're pretty easy, right? Yeah, as long as you're looking for that color, that shape. Yeah. And the gills that are in ridges instead of like knife blades. Yeah, I find I could, that's like I could just look at that and know what it is. It looks like we got dinner pretty much taken care of. I'm going to try to get a side. That's going to be a side adventure. And uh, so that means we're going to have to paddle, do a little bit of paddling, but we got uh, camp kind of all straightened out. I just actually had a, a big fat nap for my big fat bass. And we're still sipping away on the choke chairs. And Jeremy's getting the mushrooms ready. So we should be ready to go as soon as we get back. But I did want to do this as one of my, I don't know if this is the 10th item reveal right now, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to go across and we're going to do something that I've never never really done before something i always try to avoid so we just paddled over to the opposite side of the lake where you know the riffles we're at the riffles again because i thought it was gonna be a pretty good spot where i can uh wade in and use my 11th item we have to dig them out here here dun -dun 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 -dun. drum roll drum roll please where is it where is it that's my 11th item this was the fail safe item this is if we couldn't catch any fish I could at least go down and snorkel some food out. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, snorkel and mask. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to bring you along with the GoPro and have a look, see what we can find. I'm gonna look up the river a little bit for, for crayfish and I'm gonna get a couple of clams just to have a taste because we obviously have enough protein. We don't need any more protein. It's lean protein. It's a little chewy, but that's why we came here because the, uh, well, they can be full of grit. And I think right here with the running water, they're gonna be best tasting because they're gonna get kind of purged all the time. Like you're chewy, they're chewy. Maybe you have to dice them up a little bit. But we have butter and we have adobo. Yeah, we're gonna fry them up proper this time. So they're gonna taste fantastic. All right, we're doing it. We're going for a swim. I hate swimming. I'm not a swimmer. I hate cold water. I don't mind swimming, but I don't like cold water. No. So the only place you're gonna find nice temperatured water is in the tropics. Pretty much. I like swimming in the tropics. Yeah. Don't worry, I got my bathing suit already on, people. <laughs> so you do not have to avert your eyes. Oh, yeah, it's a little chilly. You all psyched up now? No. I'm less psyched up. I'm less psyched up now <laughs> because it's cold. And this, this jacket's going to get wet. I think I'm going to float with it. Survival? I'm Aquaman now. <laughs> I'm fogging up. That's not good. Can't we, fog up. You get in the water. Is that what you have to do? Oh. Yeah, or you have to spit in your mask. I was just kidding. No, you really do. Or a little <laughs> bit of soap. We use dish soap in the, when we dive in the Caribbean. Dish soap, huh? Yeah. I paid, I paid a lot extra money for uh, especially now <laughs> dive I think, stuff. I think in the post-COVID world they don't oh, encourage spit people in to that. spit in the mask. You just give it a good hork. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I snorkeled. I uh, scuba dived. Well, I didn't. I snorkeled, I should say, for a whole summer once. Confident I'll find. How many you want? Six? Yeah. 
<laughs> no more than six. No more than six. We got too much protein already. All right. Let's see luck. Good oh, luck. I see. I see. <laughs> oh. Survival. This is what happens when you put a woodsman in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought water for you. Ouch. Ouch. So just dive in and swim a bit. You'll get there. Oh, it's so cold though. I caught one. I caught one. Gotta get the deeper water. You're doing great. Thank you. Very good. Very we'll, we'll paddle over and Give him a hard time. Oh, yeah, there. Very good courage, EB. Oh. oh, yeah, almost there. Oh, this is where it gets cold on the darts. Oh, oh. Whew. Whew. Yeah, it's all still there. Oh. Whew. Whew. Okay. All right, that's the hard part I'm in. Huh. <laughs> 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 Big boulder here. All right, there you go. There's one. Okay. Four, five more. Sure. Or three more. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I like that. Ah, all right. Yeah, it's meaty. Yeah, maybe just uh, two more should be plenty. We already have all that fish. Is it just loaded with them here, or what? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but... <laughs> I'm just floating away from you. Okay. Faster, faster! Oh, oh, oh so much work. I'll do, uh, we'll do six. Yeah? Six is a round number. Four? Yeah. Last two, I two more? Oh, we're getting deep here. Thank you. <laughs> so ah. old that, like, layers are peeling off of them. Nothing, I'm just talking about them. It's crazy. Or maybe those are all old otter bites or something. It's like a, hmm. a veteran. <laughs> you didn't bring your flippers as part of your kit? Uh. You have too much flotation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I thought I could beat it, but I didn't. Watch the canoe's gonna bop you on the oh, yeah. on the head there. I tried to get, I tried to get rid of the 
<laughs> the life jacket, it just kept riding off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. How many more? One? Yeah, just one more. I gotta get Giardia from this water. Like a sea otter, you got to break it on your chest now with a rock. <laughs> with a rock. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, dude, this water's awesome. Is it? Yeah, you want to come in? No, nah, I'm not really dressed for it, but <laughs> next time. A little bathing suit is one of my 10 items. Can you get that bullfrog? You need help. Oh, I haven't been over there yet. Okay. I'm kind of prepared to pass on the bullfrog. Oh, Given what? the amount of food we have. I want to go find the bullfrog. All right. Well, let's go take a few minutes and see what we see. Okay. All right. There was a bullfrog over here making some squawking. So see if I can't get him on his own turf. There's uh there's tons of bass, little bass, yeah, and maybe even little pike. It's hard to tell. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well, that bullfrog was up in here. <laughs> a big bass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think I see him here. Did you see the other one? He went that way. Can you do it? He saw a clam he can't resist. A giant, giant clam. It's pretty big. Huh. That's scary. Yeah, that big bass. I wasn't expecting to see that. <laughs> It's not as big as I thought. 
No, everything looks bigger underwater, eh? Yeah. Like your giant bass was probably <laughs> like yay big. No, it was like a, it was a good one. Pretty big. Am I gonna get Jardy from this? I don't know. Mm. We'll find out. Yeah, clear all your water fishing. <laughs> sunshine because I have no beach towel that would be that would be 11 items but all our items to use though so you guys can use your judgment on that one to find out if it's worthwhile going for clams or stick to the fishing I guess it really does depend on the water temperature too because you don't want to go swimming if it's really cold because that's going to be a net calorie deficit however I should say that you don't always have to go swimming for clams a lot of the times they are pretty shallow i think we uh did we thrive not gonna we're not done yet but except for water jeepers yeah <laughs> so your one of your 10 items next time might be a big pot yeah or just a working water filter <laughs> would be a good item yeah yeah that that water filter is giving you grief but that's the that's the trick with modern technology you think well it's going to save my time because i'm not going to have to sit there and boil water but then again, it didn't work, so, you know, it didn't really save you any time. It just provided you a bunch of a f false sense of security is what you got from that filter. My feeling about the life straw is that it's the kind of thing you keep at your camper in your backpack or in your truck or your hunting bag or whatever for an emergency. So if you're ever stuck out and you need five liters of water, you can get it. But as far as it being like a, something you would use every time you go camping instead of a bigger filter, I don't think it... I don't think that's where it shines. I got my cherry double D. Is that what we called it? Double D cherry. Oh yeah. Hot mash. Gotta figure out a way to get that pressed out. I have to sacrifice a sock. <laughs> Want to put through a sock, dear? You're filleting pike with a multi-tool. Yep. Yep. It's 10 items, so you got a bunch of items in there. Is that the rationale behind it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came in handy, I guess. For the fire steel. Pliers. Yep. For fish removal. Yep. Or hook removal. Yeah, it's, it's been, um, you know, jack of all trades, master of none. That's gonna, the multi-tool. Well, it's pretty sharp though, actually. It is, yeah. Are you like, going to fillet those or are you going to scale them? I guess it's too late, right? <laughs> are you gonna I'm going to do the five, five boneless. Yeah, that's the ticket with pike anyway. You probably cook it whole and then pick the bones out. Yeah. Want to make the most of it. I think I'll uh, probably scale the bass. Okay. Um... We got three bass there, right? Yeah. As far as the fish go, we got uh, two pike. So we're going to do, well, I guess Jerry's going to do the five boneless fillets. If you don't know how to do that, well, just search it. I'm not going to go through it right now. <laughs> yeah. There's, they're bony. Pike are bony. We have enough for dinner and breakfast, and then we're going to run out again. <laughs> so we have to figure out what to do after that. Go to the meat locker. <laughs> the meat locker. Jerry's got an idea. It is an overland adventure. Because this is a warm water system and we're thinking about maybe getting some trout. And Jared knows a place nearby where we can just go get a bunch. Five each? Yep. The meat locker, he calls it. Yep. Although he did say that this lake was full of them and he was off by one lake. So you never know. It could be a misadventure. It could. Or it could be a nice wrap up to the, the uh, 10 item survival challenge. Yeah. 
And we've been doing pretty good so far, I would say. We're even passing yeah. up food and passing up fishing opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> so, this like... Is, um, <laughs> yesterday was one of the first times that uh, we've been out on an adventure and I've gone to bed at dark instead of, like, hours later. <laughs> Try it because we're cooking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I found you a bass over there, a sweet bass, and I told you where it was and you didn't even cast to it. Well, I actually kind of did, but yeah, not half-hearted. Half <laughs> fish cleaning fish is not so bad but scaling them is oh. is is supremely annoying yeah. for some reason it's probably about the same amount of work but it's just like i don't know you just you know scraping a fish when you go to a campsite and there's like a fish board up on it in a tree you really like that i understand why people do <laughs> no like when it's like here at this oh height, yeah yeah, yeah I, I know why because you're old now yeah <laughs> but even when i was young uh, this was still hard on the back. I think I'm just less patient about it now, or I'm like more crotchety, or... Well, you got to sit down on your, just sit down on your butt and just give up the squat. Well, we got a pretty decent haul we got. What, three bass about this size? And, uh, what? Two handfuls of pike? Yeah. About that. Least. About that? Yeah, that one I rinsed. Oh, you already got that one? Yeah. Just want a hand Those are all rinsed. Handful of pike. It. Yeah, I want to show everybody. So we uh, obviously made that skinless. Skinless, boneless. Mostly boneless. <laughs> You're going to say mostly. Entirely skinless. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good haul. So what do we got? I don't know. We got two meals there at least. Yeah. For two people. Yeah. That's all it amounts to really. But that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Enough for uh, dinner and breakfast. Ooh. Although I don't know if we can preserve that. What do you think? We have to cook it all. We have to cook it all and then uh, is that going to keep or no? There's our final tray. Doesn't look too bad when you combine that with our mushrooms. And we still have our choke double d cherry double d that'll that rounds it out oh we just gotta cook it and eat it You can use a gravity filter, make sure it works. The life straw is a backup. It's an emergency item. So you have it with you, but you don't like rely on it unless you're by the water all the time. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, if you're not by the water all the time, then it doesn't really matter what you're using. But uh, I find this kind of pain in the butt having just this water, little one liter tote here with me and having to fill it up all the time and not having a source to fill it up i have to go back and get it but i mean it works so far um it works i keep it in your pack but have something ready and then maybe have two if you're going to do this long term you're planning on doing it have a gravity filter and a life straw as a backup i actually blew it out you black blow it just blow out and uh, that did the trick. It's flowing a lot better now. So, little tricks. Well, we'll see how many of these I eat. Jeremy assures me I've eaten all of these varieties before. Probably not in that quantity. So whether I eat half of that, probably not. We'll see. Let's see how adventurous I am. Gonna ease into it. That was enough there for four people. So. <laughs> it's four <laughs> servings of mushrooms between two people. And more over at my tent. <laughs> but I don't have a plan. So if we uh, want more mushrooms, we can we can have more mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oops, I lost one. You want... Oh, don't waste your time. 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 Don't waste
twice them. Like all of them or half of them? Well, for this table plate. Yeah, half of it fit. Flip knife. We'll share our fishing rod next time. Yeah. So we have plates. <laughs> and I gotta decide how many I'm gonna eat, how much risk I wanna take in my life. They taste good. Live wild. Huh? Live wild. Live wild? As long as you're willing to paddle me out, portage me out tomorrow. Oh, well, we can probably put two bass on there. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It'll shrink up a little bit. We're smallmouth bass, but you're saying they're shrink bass? Shrink bass, yeah. You've been telling them all your problems, or? <laughs> I don't got no problems. I got smallmouth bass and well, mushrooms. Not and... Now that you've talked to the shrink bass. Look at that. Couple small fish. Well, smaller than mine, so. <laughs> It'll have to do, not even surviving. It's just straight up camping. We're pretty close here with just 10 items. It's not bad. We did pretty good. I'm impressed. It's good, but it's time for a change also. Mm -hmm. Oh, the clams. Oh. Got the clams. Yeah. What are we gonna do with those? Cook them tomorrow. <laughs> we could for breakfast. Ooh, stay tuned. That'll be a good breakfast because they won't go bad. Mm -hmm. They're still alive in the net and they'll purge overnight. We need to drink up all that juice so we can use that pot. Yeah, I think we'll be done with that tonight anyway. I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't be really comfortable <clears throat> keeping like it's gonna ferment. We're gonna get drunk tomorrow. Awesome. Let's, <laughs> let's ferment it. We're trying to attract the bear because the bear season's open. <laughs> and we have to uh, do mono e mono because we only have 10 items. So you have a hatchet and I have a hand knife. So, yeah. Probably fair, fair match. Fair match. How big of a bear are we talking about? 150 pounder. Let's do it. I think we could do it. 350? I'm out. <laughs> I think we just got to. I always thought of the strategy if you're going to go after a bear, you have to do a perimeter. Right, so you can't be at this, you can't be too out in front. You have to have one guy behind all the time. So mm -hmm. the bear's always not knowing what's going on, has to turn around, and then it's, and then you come in and you <clears throat> do the hand jab. Yep. When it's not looking, and then you distract it so it's always looking at you, and then you come back in with the hatchet. But okay. one, one swift chop to the back of the head, I think you got it. If you blunt force jump on his face and just clamp his jaws down. <laughs> Just like a full full face wrap, legs and arms. Just keep his whole head contained. <laughs> like a full Nelson? Yeah, then I'll find the liver with my multi-tool. I'm worried about the claws and we'll too. we'll bleed them out. Not just the mouth. And it's, gonna, it's gonna be like one of these clawing <laughs> at my skin. For a very brief period of time. And this, none of this is advice, by the way. <laughs> Some of the things you think about. <laughs> Guess what I learned on the... <laughs> yeah, no, that's not a what solution. What did channel? That's not a solution to your problems, people. That will lead to more problems. But with a black bear around here, you should fight back. I'm just gonna re-edit this clip <laughs> on my channel. Yeah. So it sounds like your advice. Watch <laughs> how we do this. Chris, what would you suggest is a good strategy to fight a bear? <laughs> what's saying, your what's your advice? I'm not saying anything, but this is how the editing is gonna No, you don't have play. to, because then I just move <laughs> that to the start and then you go on your my tirade. Raid. Yeah. It's really the drink that keeps on giving. Added some more. Oh, there's a fly in there. There's a fly in my soup, sir. Just add some more water in there and keep going. Warm juice. I have a bite of the pike, pike fillets.
Probably doesn't taste any different than anything else. Oh. Is it still too hot? <laughs> yeah. Really hot. Jerry's fighting the hot pan over there. These are good. <clears throat> Very good. The rain stopped. Yeah, are you worried about that? A little bit. Well, Jeremy made a pretty good dent on things and we're gonna, we were thinking, well, he was hoping to eat it all. We actually, this is not one of our 10 items. This is a found item. So it's gonna be a smoker and we're just gonna leave it on the grate here overnight. And uh, I still got a bunch of cake left as part of my rations. The choke cherries are done because we need to clean this out to be able to cook the uh, clams. And it looks like we're getting ready for bed. We beat the mosquitoes. So Heron actually dropped in over there on the other bank and he's gonna be doing some fishing just like we did all day. But we really lucked out weather-wise. It is super calm. Um, the mosquitoes were like, they were around at night. I mean, they're gonna come out again at night. So I'm gonna suffer under my tarp. I'll take you over there in a second. But uh, I wanted to kind of enjoy the evening. I'm gonna go over to Jeremy's spot here and have a peek off the cliff because it's a, it's a really nice spot. <clears throat> Jeremy kind of lucked out having it over here. But uh, we did really good on this challenge and happy to have you guys along, especially if you're stuck all the way to the end. Teeth. Yeah, Jerry's gonna brush his teeth. Maybe I'll brush my teeth tonight. I didn't last night, I was oh, too tired. Gross. <laughs> it's okay. No, uh, there's no girls out here for teeth brushing purposes. Check this lake. We have this whole thing to ourselves. The camera's got to adjust. It is dark, darkening. Happy to have you guys along. And there's going to be more to come tomorrow. We're going to go on another adventure. We're going to pack out of here and see if we can't do something different, find a different source of food. We'll eat the clams in the morning, let you know what they taste. I think that's the right thing to do anyway, to leave them in the fish net overnight and they'll purge, they'll get rid of all of the, the grit in there. They just kind of open up their, it's a bivalve too, right? Open up and expel all of the grit that they might have inside the clam. I think my 11th item is um, probably my filter because when you said you were bringing a filter, I thought it was like an everybody filter. <laughs> right, yeah, that, was, that got lost in the and communication. I like, holy, I better bring something. <laughs> Yeah, because my... we don't have enough pots to be boiling water and cooking food. It was kind of a last minute, like, oh, you got the water filter. I'm like, no, I got the live straw. Hmm. But I did write water filter when I picked mm -hmm. and I sent it to Jeremy for my 10 items. But next time I'm going to bring the gravity filter, no matter what. Like, even though it's a little bit bigger, it's not as compact. I think it just makes more sense. Like, oh, yeah. hang, the hang the bag, fill your bottle up and be done with it. Yep. survival lessons and i am not at all ever going to recommend that you sleep under a tarp in the summer <laughs> we're late summer and there was the hope that we would be past the mosquito season and i wouldn't have to deal with that <laughs> but i was wrong and so if you watched last time i did wear a bug jacket because they're not out yet, but I imagine if it's anything like last night, they will be out again tonight. And so I wore the bug jacket over my head and thankfully it cooled off at night to the point where it wasn't such a big deal. It wasn't hot. And then uh, I could get a breather. And then after I took it off, I just like poked my head out to breathe. So there we are. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop into bed here. So I will say one of the best parts of having this open concept tarp is that I can see everything out in front of me. If there's any activities, any animals come by, but I can also see the lake right out from my front door, which is pretty darn special. And so I feel like I'm in bed, but I also feel like I'm kind of on a couch with the best view you can have. Nature just right there. 10 item survival challenge. We'll have day three and we're gonna do another adventure. What in the heck is that? <laughs> the 
woods is waking up, that's for sure. That sounded like a bird. And there was a noise in the woods. <laughs> anyway, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah.